Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the top three much awaited features in Power BI. And these are my much awaited features which I was waiting for a long time and thanks to Microsoft Power BI team, they did it. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. Please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything. Let's start with our very first feature. The very first feature we are gonna talk about over here is the button formatting. Initially, Microsoft came with the buttons in Power BI, later they improved that and now finally, there's a lot of formatting options. Now, as you can see on your screen that I have a button on top of my head over there where I have an image inside the button. And in fact, if I want to link any of the link with this button, that one also I can do. So let's see what are the different formatting options you will find in buttons right now. First of all, whenever you're gonna go to the insert tab over here, in the buttons, you will find a lot of buttons are over there. Whichever you want to use, you can use it. And once you have this blank button, you can take it. I'll just expand this for you guys. And now let's check the formatting options. What are the formatting options do we have over here? So let's go to the formatting pane. And first we are gonna see the fill. Under the fill, once you are going to toggle it on, you will see there is an image option. So I can add the image, I can select my color that I want to fill over here or even the transparency. So let's add an image over here. So I'll go to my downloads. There are some image over here. Let me check our logo. So now you can see that logo is appearing over here. So you can even do the different kinds of image fit over here like fit, fill, or whatever you like. So I'll always try to make it fit. So let me do that. So this is the fill one. Even if you want to add an expression for your colors, you can do that. Now let's resize it a bit because it seems a bit stretched over here. So this is our button where I can see my image. And if you have any other image for you, you can definitely add it over here. Now, if we go to the text, even if you would like to place any text on the image, you can do that. Come over here and here again you will get all the states like default states, on clicked, on hover and lastly our fourth one is over there which is disabled. So let me put it over here BCP because it's BI Consulting Pro, it's our logo and then you can do certain formatting over here. Right now you cannot see it because it's in the middle of this button. So what I can do, I can put it at the bottom, which is my vertical alignment. And if I would like to make any changes in the font or anything that I can do for sure. So it's similar formatting options and even you can give any expression if you would like to. Now we are going to move further and we are going to see what are the different types of shapes that we can change over here. So this is the most important that they have added in this September 2021 updates where instead of rectangle you can make it a pentagon or if you would like to change it to some other shape as well you can do that for example pill you can change it like that if you want to make it like heart or anything else also you can do that. So let's say trapezoid it's gonna be like that or lastly we are gonna change to its parallelogram so you can do that too so this is very nice feature you will find there are multiple shape options are available over here whether you want octagon hexagon heart for example you want to make it a, as an arrow that one also you can do over here so just click on it and it's appearing as an arrow so depends on your own requirement what you want to do you can do that and this is a must know feature in Power BI because I know I do work in Power BI. Many times I have to use different symbols whenever I'm working for my own organization. So please do check that out. Now we are gonna move on the second feature that I really like to talk about and I was waiting for this feature for a long time. That is line chart series labels. So initially what was happening when I used to draw a line chart like this, I used to depend on my legends which is on the top and it's very confusing to work with such a line chart because suppose if there are multiple lines it's very difficult to track which line is for which then you have to check the legends and then you have to again focus back on your charts and then you have to find okay this color is for this line. 
So it's quite confusing and to be honest I am not a big fan of that and I was expecting from Microsoft to make it happen something more readable, something more easy to understand features on this line chart and finally they listened to us. So what is over there? Now what I can do, I can go to again my formatting options and under formatting options I'm gonna switch it off. Legends, I don't need that. What I need over here, I need this series label. So let me just try to expand this a bit more so that you will see. It. So this is the series labels, which is a new feature rolled out in September 2021 update. And here now you will see uh, I have the different legends for different lines and they are appearing very quite nicely over here. You can easily understand them. Oh, it's for Canada, it's for France, Germany, United States of America or Mexico. It's super easy. But not only that, there are a couple of more formatting options that you can do over here. For example, let's expand this one, series labels. And here you can change the series color if you would like to. And similarly, you will have font size, font name, or background if you want to appear or not. And not only that, there's custom series options. What that means, for each and every legend, you can change the color. Over here, I did the background on. So I'm going to switch it off again. And now the background is no more. And I can back to the default color of Canada, which I can do. Just select over there. And then you can change it back to the same color. So you can do as per your own requirement or the way you feel it's going to be good. Okay, so these are the one. But remember one thing, once you are going to switch on this customized one and suppose for Germany, you are going to select a corresponding color to the Germany, which is orange or here. Let me make it orange. And now because the custom series is on, now even you are going to switch off the series level, it's going to remain the same. You can see that Germany didn't get back to over there. Why? Because we switched it on the custom level because we customized the series and it's not going to go back. So if you have to return it to back to the default state, what you can do, either you can revert to the default state or you have to first toggle off this custom series and then you have to go back over here and you have to toggle it off the label series. That's how you can do it. So this was about the line chart series labels and I'm sure you will find it very helpful in order to visualize your data or to interpret your data to your clients or the stakeholders. With this, we are going to move now on our third feature, which is waterfall charts. I was waiting for this for a long time and long time back I voted for that. It was already there. And we were waiting for a long time how to do that. I tried the different customization which didn't work but finally thanks to Microsoft it's over there. So this is my sales month on month percentage by month over here on my chart which is my waterfall chart as you can see. We used to have this problem that in most of the organization people don't want to see this total. They just want to see how the variation is going on month over month or year on year something like that. But they don't want to see the total because it doesn't make sense to them. So what to do in this case? How to switch it off? Once you will click on this chart, you will see that formatting pane is going to appear over here. And here you won't find this total switch on switch off. And to be honest, initially I also took some time to figure it out where is it. But the simplest option is you can directly go on the top in the search box just type total. Once you are going to do that you will find over here the two options on Y and the sentiment colors because in the sentiment also we are using it. So what you can do you can just directly switch it off and now magic happens over here. That means now we don't have the total and it's very easy to visualize this chart over here. And trust me guys you are going to love it when you are going to use this. And I'm sure you are also waiting for this feature for a long time. So that's all guys for this Power BI top three features of my list. And I hope you like this video. Please do share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI videos and updates.